I will still YouTube. Uh, like I do these uh, end of the week videos where I try to make these videos a little bit more happier, a little bit more lighthearted, and try to definitely do videos just to kind of give a little inspiration and kind of a little laugh at the same time uh, towards the end of the week as we go into Monday. And today I want to do a video on, uh, I guess, the top seven or maybe 10 ways, but we'll probably do probably about five ways of how to uh, know that you're getting older and more mature. Uh, as you go through puberty, hair will begin to grow everywhere. It's weird. Uh, it feels funny, but that's just the way it is. Uh, you begin to have body odor. Uh, uh, your liking of uh, females will become uh, uh, the highest ever. And you would just be out here just like, oh, my gosh, I'm going through all these changes. Your voice would deepen. Uh, uh, everything would just begin to hit you at one point in time. It would just be like boom at the boom at the boom. It just continued to hit you. But how do you know that you begin to be older? Uh, I think it was, I can't remember who it was, but every, no, and I know who it was. I'm just not going to say who it was. But every year my birthday would come up and uh, the, the person would sit. Uh, next to me and say, well, you're a year older. How do you feel? And I used to hate them asking this question. I hated them asking this question with a passion just because to me it was just so lame just to ask the question. I was always a good kid, well-mannered, you know, always, yes, ma'am, no, sir. You you got to learn the manners and you got to always respect, you know, everybody, no matter who it is, no matter the financial uh, situation, no matter the height, no matter the weight, no matter what it is, you respect everybody. But I used to hate to ask this question because I'll be like, I can't, you can't believe you gotta make me sit down here, and 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 say how does it make me feel every single year? It's like almost like that that one person you got in your family who tells the same joke every single year, and they expect you to laugh the same way, if not harder. Like I didn't hear this joke the last past three Thanksgivings, but anyway, they told me, uh, how does it make you feel? But now that I'm a man, old enough to go to the to the service. Old enough to have probably about 30 kids, even though I'm not going to. You got to be responsible. I'm just saying, physically, spiritually, mentally, I'm mature enough to do all these things. I understand the basis of asking me how old you are. See, you, my mother used to say it all the time. You won't understand it until you get older. But now that I'm becoming older, I'm beginning to see that the little questions, the little tests, the, li the little uh, uh, mindset, the little crossword, puzzle, the little whatever it may be, uh, that that the that the elders or the OGs or just older siblings or older cousins, whatever it may be, were trying to test you. I understand where it's coming from. So anyway, uh, this question come came up to me this year, not for a particular person because they weren't around, they weren't there for my birthday. But I asked myself that question because I was so used to hearing it every year. You're a year older now. How does it feel? And I looked at myself in the mirror. I didn't talk to myself because I'm not crazy about it. I looked at myself in the mirror. And I looked for the first time. I said, wow, I know what that person was saying. I'm older now. So teenagers in high school and stuff, when I used to be like, oh, that's my peers. Or when I was younger and they were older, I used to be scared or just excited to hang around them. I'm almost by mistake sunning them. Like, I don't know if you ever remember that old word. I, I don't know how old you are, but sunning. Meaning that you're actually like, you're like the older elder now. And you actually like sunning them. And when I see them, I'm like, yo, what's up, y'all? You know, they're like, hey, what's up? Because I, you know, I, I kind of shaved the beard off now. But particularly when I was letting the beard just grow like crazy. And I, all that one connect, it was just, it was, a, it was a lot of it. And, of course, they knew I was older. I look, I look a lot older. Uh, I look probably like I'm 40, which I guess is due to uh, not enough sleep and, and a lot of homework. But um, they look at me like, yeah, what's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah. And I say, y'all staying in school. You know, y'all doing good. Y'all keeping your grades up. I say, y'all ain't chasing these girls. I say, remember, it's, it's goals and girls, but you got to find a balance between the two. Like, it was these things that I'm telling them already. And they could be five, six, seven years, uh, whatever, maybe middle school, maybe high school, maybe freshman in college. I'm finding myself not on purpose or not like, oh, I'm so much high and mighty, but doing it in the basis that I already had the best interest in mind. And I want them to succeed even greater than myself now, because even I'm like this, I'm old news. I'm old man now. I want them to succeed. So that's part of getting older. You, J. Cole said a line, a lot of brothers getting older, but they never grow up. So I guess I can't just say it's just a part of getting older, but it's a part of growing and maturing. You will begin to see yourself 
in a, in a fatherly role or in an unclely role or in an older brother role trying to get everybody to succeed. Now I got my life together. I find I see the balance between uh you know relationship and 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 finances. I see the relate I see the balance between uh getting the gains whether that be in the gym or whether that be the book gains. I see I see, you see what I'm saying? I see the balance. So now I'm trying to teach others the balance. That's part of getting older is maturing. These things will happen. Uh two, as you know you're getting older, you'll begin to um want to find uh, 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 even greater balance in your life. What I mean by this is, Tiger Woods, said the best, Tiger Woods said the best, life is about balance. And you'll begin to find yourself trying to find that equal amount of, I want somebody that, I, I want to date somebody that's, that's both fun, but at the same time, intelligent. You just won't be just going after the beauty all the time. You'll be trying to look for brains. You'll be trying to look for intelligence. You, because you've been there, done that. And although I'm not going to lie, just for a relationship to work, you have to be attracted to a person. But at the same time, you will begin to say, OK, well, what else do they offer me? And if a person, the only thing they can offer you is beauty or the only thing they can offer you is buying you a couple of uh, pairs of clothes or some tennis shoes, then even if that person is cool, but if they can't grow with you or, or they're not listening to or how can I put this? You all not growing together. Then you need to look for another person because there's another person out there that's just as equal parts. Uh, uh, smart or balanced uh, as they are beautiful. Um, three, you begin to start wanting to dress more maturely. You begin to start one wearing ties and shirts or at least polos. You will find the importance of dressing well, of, of, of correct posture. My grandmother used to always say, string your back up, stand up straight, don't slouch, don't do this, don't do that. But I understand the importance of what grandma was telling me. Again, you will find... At, and again, that's the next one I'm about to get to. That's going to be number five. But you'll begin to uh, see the importance of structure, of balance, uh, uh, of just correct walking and talking and behavior. You'll see that being hype all the time and being overly excited, the first one to try to run to the phone, the first one to shoot a text, the first one to try to run everything, you will see the, you will begin to see the, it's almost like I don't know if you over, opened up the, a grandfather clock, but you'll begin to see all even the little tiny pieces working in unison but working at a steady pace to bring forth uh, uh, the correct time. And a grandfather clock never fades or withers because of the way it was made, a, 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 a pocket watch almost, like it's the little tiny gears. You begin to find the importance of these things. So again, number three, or number, or num yeah, number, I guess it would be number three would be the posture, the correction, the little small details is what I'm basically trying to say. And four would basically be the same thing. You'll find yourself trying to find pace. So number three, again, is the small details, paying attention to details, paying attention to the fine writing, writing in the contracts. Again, like I said, again, four would be just balance, just going at just the proper time. If we go too fast, you're going to miss the opportunity. If we go too slow, you're going to miss the opportunity. Finding that fine line and being like a smooth ride. And not bumpy and shaky, but wanting that smoothness. And life is not going to be smooth, but your household must be smooth. Your inside must be smooth. Your internal structure must be smooth because the external will always be bumpy. But it, but a car will never break apart if you continue to fix what's under the hood, if you know what I'm saying. Five, like I said again, you will see what the elders were talking about, what my mama was talking about, what my grandma was talking about. You know, and all the men in my life, the mentors, the uncles, the, the whoever it may be, you will see everything that they were saying rather be a small thing. Rather my grandfather telling me, are you more like oil or are you more like water? I didn't understand it till I got older. You know, the small things, you'll pay attention to the, to the small things. Don't ever put, when you dealing with battery acid, don't ever get let it get close to your skin. Don't ever get let it get close to your clothes because it'll... It'll burn. It'll, it'll burn a hole in it. Well, maybe not your skin, but you're aggravated or or messed up at the very least. And as a child, you want to go through life just grabbing the battery up, letting the acid just splash all over everywhere. But although you can pick it up and it looks safe, ooh, let me say that very carefully. Although it looks safe, the inside, what it contains on the inside, is something that naturally you're not used to, or something that you're, you're used to, but it's, it's an unstable compound. So although it looks safe, 
the outside is just a container. You must figure out what's in the inside. And once you know what's inside the inside, whether it be by experience or whether it be that somebody telling you, you must properly transport, translate, transform, and 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 fix and structure your movements so that what is unstable and what is unknown does not burn you. Oh my God. If you didn't hear that, my brother, then I'm telling you, you need to definitely just just you know, you you'll be straight. Like I say again, as you get older, you start seeing certain things. So I hope that helped you. If if you don't do anything, because we wind that last two minutes and listen to that last bit that I was telling you, because that's some powerful stuff right there. But as you get older, these are the things that will begin to happen on your journey through manhood. So peace and many blessings to each and every one of you all. Uh, I greet y'all and and I leave y'all with peace, positivity, but great even greater than that. Uh, I mean, not just just as equal parts great as the other two. I leave you with power as you go and being a melanated person in America. I hope everybody stays safe. Everybody has fun. Everybody finds everything that they're looking for and hoping for in this world. And when everything comes together and you find balance, you yourself, your life will begin to come uh, at a lot smoother pace. But again, as always, peace. I'm on to the next one.